Good everybody, it's Matt here again, and I'm still trying to find a good walking shoe for traveling in that looks good and is really comfortable to be standing and walking in all day long on hard surfaces. So today I decided to go a bit of a different route and I've gone away from some of the more sporting shoe brands and trying Florsham's. I've got here the Venture Knit in the gray. Now I've had Florsham's before in other shoes and I'll be honest, they are typically not the most comfortable shoe, so I wouldn't really think of them in this, but these ones are meant to be a comfort shoe. So I thought I'd give them a whirl, and they certainly do look really nice. I really like the styling of them from the pictures. I actually have tried these already because I ordered a US Men's 11, which is where I normally am, but it turns out it's huge. So I had to get a US Men's 10 to try instead. Let's whip them out and we'll have a look. That is the Forsham Venture Knit Shoe. And it is quite a smart looking shoe. Definitely not your typical comfort walking sneaker style shoe. It looks fancy. These shoes are a combination of synthetic man-made materials and leather. We've got a textile upper and lining uh, up around this section and also down around the toe area with this textile mesh here which feels like it should be pretty breathable. And then we have a suede leather uh, and normal leather down the sides and around the ankle and coming into the other side here. The sole is a synthetic sole, ABA foam, which is a combo dual mold. So we've got both a softer section for more cushioning and then a harder section for taking most of the impacts of your walking, bearing the brunt of concrete and that sort of thing. These feature Forsham's Comfort Tech Comfort Tech sole, which is actually quite a soft cushy, especially in the heel insole. So that feels like it should be pretty nice underfoot. And look, I'm not sure how these will go. This sort of shoe can often be a firmer shoe to wear and often not that comfortable, but these feel pretty good. They feel like they should be quite comfortable on. They do have this interesting, basically a socklet, I guess in the shoe, so there's no tongue but there are laces so you can probably do this so that you can just use them as slip-ons and when you've got pull tabs on both the tongue area and the, the back of the shoe they should be pretty easy to get on and off without having to use the laces as long as they're not too tight unlike a lot of other shoes these ones are actually made in china so many shoes are made in vietnam let's uh, go ahead though and try these ones out so i'm trying these with my sketches no-show socks which are the kind of socks I usually would wear if I'm just walking around, particularly in warm weather, standing up all day, traveling, that kind of thing. And uh, especially with this sort of shoes that you're wearing with shorts, I find no show socks with a go. First glance, they're just sitting just above the shoe line here. A little bit of a white rim does kind of fit in with the white midsole there as, as a bit of a border or a frame for the shoe. And at first feel, they're definitely a firmer shoe. But for this style, that is pretty good. So these are meant to be a US 10. Now I had to go down a size from a US 11 because the US 11 in this was actually way too big. Now, according to Floorshine, this is a Euro 44.5. Normally a US 11 is about a Euro 45. So we're talking pretty close there. And I still wonder if these could be just a little bit on the big side. So my big toe ends more than a index fingers width from the end of the shoe, which I mean, normally you're looking for about an index fingers width uh, anyway. So it's close, but it does feel like there's a lot of room in part because there's heaps and heaps of room, both width wise and height wise in this toe box. So it feels quite big and you can easily see just how much room there is around there. But initially they feel pretty good. Like this style of shoe, can be very, very hard underfoot, especially if there is no decent midsole, because often they can have quite a hard or non-existent midsole. But these ones do, and they also have a pretty good insole with that Comfort Tech insole. Combined with that midsole, gives these a little bit more squish under your heels in particular than you would normally have in this type of shoe. So there's lots of flex in these shoes, and I feel like around here, We've got tons of room. I could definitely pull these in tighter with the laces, but I do feel like at the moment without doing that, that I could actually use these as a slip-on, which I can. Like, 
that slips off very easily. And I expect we should be able to just slip it back on really nicely without having to undo the bases if we don't do them up tight. And that's kind of nice because it gives you the look of a lace up shoe, but with the ease of on and off of a slip on. I definitely feel like as I'm standing these more, that the heel comfort is really good. So that's excellent for standing in a lot and walking on hard surfaces a lot. Uh, I feel like under the ball of the foot, certainly not as much cushioning as in like a running shoe or, or an athletics type of shoe, but there is cushioning there. I really like the colors, the look and feel of these. And I definitely think that while they're not the most comfortable shoe I have tried, they're a really good option for something that's a more versatile, uh, nice looking shoe that is also quite comfortable underfoot. It's probably not quite as comfortable as say the Tommy Hilfiger ones that I tried, which you can find in this video up here, but pretty good for a shoe that is a much more stylish shoe and doesn't just look like you're wearing a jogger everywhere. In terms of grip, I definitely feel like these lock in nicely under the ball of the foot and under the heel too, plenty of traction. With that synthetic rubberized sole, that's definitely locking my feet onto the ground nicely. Um, I certainly don't feel like I'm slipping at all. In terms of breathability, this mesh does seem to be letting some air through as I'm moving my feet about, so that's pretty good. Again, not comparable to a jogger, but this could be a really good option for a shoe that's going to be comfortable to be in, but that looks nice. It's probably not the kind of shoe that, that you'd want to be out walking and hiking trails and so on, but hey, you can't have everything in one shoe, can you? So that is the Forshunt Venture Knit Grey Combo Sneaker. I personally think these are a really, really nice compromise between a stylish sneaker and a comfortable walking shoe. Now, it's certainly not a hiking shoe or something that you're gonna to wanna to wear out somewhere dirty, somewhere wet, uh, that kind of thing, but it's a really nice looking shoe. It's mostly synthetic with just a little bit of leather in it, in these details, in the suede and, and uh, whatnot. It's a compromise between having the appearance of a nice lace-up shoe, but also just being able to wear it as a slip-on. It breathes well. It's got quite a bit of comfort under the heel there and a bit under the ball of the foot too. It, it may not be as much as a proper walking shoe, but it's a really good compromise. So I really like this shoe and I say really a lot, but I think it's a fantastic option. And uh, I think as well, you could probably improve it a little bit more. Like it does have Forsham's Comfort Tech insole in it, but I reckon you could add something a bit thicker and ortholite maybe in there to boost it even more if you didn't think it was comfortable enough on its own. And because there's quite a bit of room actually up in this toe box, you could probably even put an additional insole in. So you could have like a Ortholite one underneath and then the Comfort Tech one on top or something like that. That could work well or vice versa. And that could well put it on par on a comfort level with some dedicated walking shoes. This has a lot of versatility, I reckon, in these shoes. And this non-slip, non-marking sole, I think is really attractive too. This makes it a really well-rounded because like, well, you should have plenty of traction walking in the city, plenty of under heel support. Like I'm just, I'm finding this a really, really nice looking option. The, the stitching and everything looks like it's really sturdy and it looks like it should last well, which is what I would expect from Fortune. They are a high-end brand that has a lot of experience doing premium shoes. And I had a pair of Fortune sandals in the past that I used to wear on and off every day, uh, often for a few hours at a time. And they lasted extremely well. And so I would expect the same quality and durability from Forsham in these shoes too. So that's it for me for now. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. Catch you next time.